Okay, today we're looking at section 4.5, exponential and logarithmic equations. So solving exponential equations when you do not have the possibility of like bases. So the first thing to do is take the natural log of both sides and then use properties of logarithm. So if I take the natural log of both sides, I have the natural log of 8x equals the natural log of 21, which is x times the natural log of 8 equals the natural log of 21. So x equals natural log of 21 divided by the natural log of 8. When calculating, don't forget to close the parentheses. I have natural log 21, close parentheses, divided by Natural log 8, close parentheses, enter. And I get something along the lines of 1.4641. Okay, so now I have natural log of 5 to the 2x minus 3 equals natural log of 8 to the x plus 1. So I have 2x minus 3. And the natural log of 5 equals x plus 1 times the natural log of 8. So if I divide both sides by x plus 1, I get 2x minus 3 over x plus 1 equals the natural log of 8 over the natural log of 5. How about this? 2x natural log of 5 minus 3 natural log of 5 equals x natural log of 8 plus natural log of 8. Go ahead and pull this over here. I have 2x natural log of 5 minus x natural log of 8 equals natural log of 8 plus 3 times the natural log of 5. Factoring out my x here, I have x times 2 natural log of 5 minus natural log of 8 equals natural log of 8 plus 3 natural log of 5. So x equals Natural log of 8 plus 3 times the natural log of 5 over 2 times the natural log of 5 minus the natural log of 8. Now personally, we can estimate this. We could figure out what this is. Seems kind of silly to me, but let's go ahead and look. Natural, oops. natural log of 8. Plus three times natural log of five. Oops. Try that again. Natural log of eight. Close parentheses. Plus three times natural log of five. Close parentheses. little thing. Okay, so here, first I'm going to subtract one from both sides. So I have 5 times 1.2, 3x minus 2 equals 6. Then I'm going to divide by 5, so I have 1.2 times 
3x minus 2 is equal to 6 over 5, which happens to be 1.2. So what does that tell us? That tells me that 3x minus 2 has to equal 1. So 3x would equal 3, and x would equal 1. So let's look at some more of these. I have 7 to the x is equal to 12. So the natural log of 7 to the x equals the natural log of 12. x times the natural log of 7 equals the natural log of 12. x equals the natural log of 12 over the natural log of 7. Don't forget to close the parentheses. Natural log of 12 close parentheses divided by natural log of 7 close parentheses, and we get 1.2770. Okay, same thing here. I have 2x minus 1 times the natural log of 3 equals x plus 2 times a natural log of 0 0.4. So this is 2x times a natural log of 3 minus the natural log of 3 equals x times a natural log of 0 0.4 plus 2 times a natural log of 0 0.4. Okay. So bring our x over. So I have 2 x natural log of 3 minus x natural log of 0 0.4. Bring my natural log of 3 over. 2 natural log of 0 0.4 plus the natural log of 3. Factor out my x here. I get x times 2 natural log of 3 minus natural log of 0.4. Still get the same thing here. I do my division. And I get 2 natural log of 0 0.4 plus natural log of 3 over Two natural log of three minus natural log of zero point four, and again, you can look at that. We can raise three to second power and get nine. Then we can divide it by the point four. Do the same thing here. So there's ways to solve that. So the solution must satisfy the domain of the logarithm. Call that x must be greater than zero is the domain of y equals log base a of x. Find the domain. So x minus one must be greater than zero. So x must be greater than one. One to infinity. And okay, now we have two to consider here x plus 3 must be greater than 0, so x must be greater than negative 3. And 2 minus x must be greater than 0, so x must be less than 2. So that means negative 3 to 2. This has got to be a typo. Solving logarithmic equations. Okay, so we may have to use properties of logarithms and then use either log base a of x equals log base a of y, then x equals y, or exponential form. 
So what do I have here? Here I have addition, which means I have log of x times 2x plus 1 equals log of x plus 8. So this is log of 2x plus x equals log of x plus 8. And that's 2x squared. So I have 2x squared plus x equals x plus 8. I subtract x from both sides, I get 2x squared, no x's, minus 8 equals 0. I can divide by 2 and get x squared minus 4 equals 0. x minus 2 x plus 2 equals 0, x equals 2, or x equals negative 2. OK. Looking at 2, I'm OK. That's positive. That's positive. Looking at negative 2, this would be negative. So negative 2 is not an answer. So here, my bases are all the same. I have the log of x plus 6 over x plus 2 equals the log of x. No, x plus 6 over x plus 2 equals x. Go ahead and multiply both sides by x plus 2, and I get x plus 6 equals x squared plus 2x. Go ahead and subtract x. I get x squared plus x and subtract 6 minus 6 gives me zero. So here I have x plus three, x minus two equals zero. So x equals negative three, or x equals two. Okay, two is fine, negative three is fine. Negative three is not fine. Let me take that, take that, but two would be, so two is our solution. Okay. So it appears there's a typo, a couple typos here. This should be log base two of two x minus five plus log base two of x minus three equals three. So I have addition here, same base. So this is the log base two of two x minus five times x minus 3 equals 3. So this is 2 to the third equals 2x minus 5 times x minus 3. Or 8 is equal to 2x squared minus 6x minus 5x plus 15. So I have 2x squared minus 11x plus 15 minus 8 plus 7 equals 0. Quadratic formula, x equals negative b, negative of negative 11, plus or minus the square root, negative 11 squared minus 4 times a, which is 2, times c, which is 7, all over 2 times a, which is 2. So I have 11 plus or minus the square root 121 minus 8 times 7, which is 56, all over 4, which gives me 11 plus or minus the square root of 65 over 4. And that is my answer. This will be a positive number no matter what. 
So we're okay. Okay, again, we have another missed typo. This should be log base three. I'm not sure how these typos came about. That makes this a lot easier though, because now I have log base three of x plus four times x minus four equals two, which means two or three to the second equals x plus four times x minus four. Nine equals x squared minus 16. X squared equals twenty-five. So x equals five. Okay. Looks like there was a lot of typos on here. This should be log base 2 of x plus log base 2 of x minus 5 equals log base 2 of 24. So this is the log base 2 of x plus the log base Oops. Log base, well, let's do this. Log base two of x plus log base two of x minus five minus log base two of 24 equals zero. So this is the log base two of x times x minus five over 24 equals zero. So what does this tell us? That's not going to work. Let's look at this. Again. So I start out with log base two of x plus log base two of x minus five equals log base two of 24. So this is simply the log base 2 of x squared minus 5 equals the log base 2 of 24. Overthinking. Be careful. x squared minus 5 equals 24. Oh, that's not right because this is minus 5x. So x squared minus 5x equals 24. So x squared minus 5x minus 24 equals 0. x minus 8, x plus 3 equals 0. So we have x equals 8 or x equals negative 3. 8 is OK. Negative 3 is not. I'd like to know what happened cause all these typos. So what do I have here? This should be 
log base 5 of 3x plus 2 plus log base 5 of x minus 1 equals 1. So this is log base 5 of 3x plus 2 times x minus 1 equals 1. So this is 3x squared minus 3x plus 2x minus 2 equals 0. So I have 3x squared minus x minus 2 equals 0. So we have 3x plus 2 x minus 1 equals 0. So x equals 1 or x equals negative 2 thirds. I put negative 2 thirds in here, I get a negative. So that doesn't work. So that's not actually what that was. Wait a minute. Log base 5 of 3x plus 2 plus x minus 1. Five to what power gives me 1? 0. Where do I have a mathematical issue? Let's see. 3x squared minus 3x plus 2x minus 2. Negative 2, 3x squared. Uh, no, that's right. That is it. So that is it for this one. Some of these can get quite convoluted. I'll keep that in mind when it comes to testing. Have a good day, and I will see you next time.